Hello, Doc. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon. We'll get moving right in. Cameron, go first. Hey, Doc, how's it going? All right. I got a two-part question for you. You mentioned in the past lack of folks lack of focus and mental errors are the reason for the losses. Um, what's your strategy to coach that up? And then secondly, considering the league's focus on bringing awareness to social injustice across the globe, would you kindly share your thoughts on the Mazai Ujiri incident from last summer? Yeah, well, you know, first of all, Dallas has outplayed us. It's more than just lack of focus. We have to play better. We have to do things better. So, um, you know, we work on it, we watch film, and we get prepared. But every game's an individual game. Uh, today's a new game, so we'll be ready for it. Um, as far as Masai, you know, Masai and I are very close, and I, I already saw he had shared the video with me. Um, it just, it just, it was sad to see. It was actually very hurtful uh, to watch that video. Um, you know, a man is at the, the, the top, the pinnacle of his career at that moment, you know, uh, walking out on the floor to celebrate with his team that they had just won the NBA championship. And he had to be reminded once again what his color was. Um, and it's just so sad. Uh, when you see the whole video, which I don't think a lot of people have seen yet, uh, the cop was nice, nice, nice. And then here comes this one black man with a suit. Um, it's just really sad. You know, uh, winning a title is, is so emotional. I don't think people who aren't in it could never understand it. Uh, and to be, have that taken away, uh, it was just really sad. Thanks, Cameron. Uh, Om, go ahead. Hey, Doc. Uh, I was wondering if there's an update on Pat for this game, if he'll be available. And also, um, has he undergone anything like an MRI on his left calf strain? I, I, I wouldn't share it anyway, but I don't know that information. I think uh, Dennis would know that. Um, and no, he's not available today. Um, you know, he's getting better, I guess, would be the best way to phrase it. Go ahead, Tomer. Hey, Doc, I'm just curious. I know, I know you've always said you wanted to play Zoo when you guys have the leader, even in play Trez when you want more offense. But in a game like last game where Boban is sort of killing you guys and the size could help you, what does Zoo need to do, if anything, to get more court time, I guess? He will. I mean, it was just one of those nights. I didn't think Zoo was playing well or none of us was playing well that matter. So we were just searching. So um, I don't go in a game worrying about Zoo's minutes. I go in a game worrying about winning. And hopefully, Zoo uh, will be a big part of that. Thank you, Doc. Are there any more questions from media? Uh, what's a good night defensively look like against Luca? I, I don't care about Luca. I care about beating the Mavs, honestly. Uh, I'm just being honest. Like, we don't look at it like, hey, Luca, what if we had a great night and they win? We're still gonna not feel good about the game. You can make a case the other night they made the run when Luca was off the floor. So uh, we focus more on like just team defense, and uh, I know what that looks like, and, and we haven't done it yet. Miriam, go ahead. Go ahead, Miriam. Oh, well, damn. Good <laughs> luck. So obviously, PG got in foul trouble and, and had an off game the other night. With, with a great player like him and him in particular, how, how do you think he internalizes a game like that and kind of is – no, I really don't know. He's been a great player his whole life, so uh, – or at least for a long time, uh, Miriam. Uh, I don't ever try to get in the, uh, that guy's head. You know, he's way better than I ever been. Uh, and so those are the guys you just kind of leave alone, let them work it out. You know, if you feel like they need something at some point, uh, hopefully you have the wisdom, uh, or at least as a coach, to know when and when not. Um, but for the most part, you let those guys be. Uh, go ahead, Brian Mahoney. Uh, you're supposed to be talking second and, and Rick first. Uh, is there any sort of ever a tactical thing? Do you prefer one or the other, or is this just to get rid of these guys first and then? No, actually, I sit in my office and. Then it comes to grab me. I don't even know what's first or second anymore here. So uh, I didn't even know I went second or first. I don't know which one. So no, I sit in my office, do my little work uh, before the game. 
you know, really, honestly, before the game, you're done with your work. I'm watching the other games and stuff, and I get this guy. He says, hey, are you ready? That's how deep it is. <laughs> so I ruined your story, but that, that, that's about it. Yeah. Andrew, go ahead. Hey, Doc, two, two questions that are related. Um, in, who will be starting in, in Pat's place tonight at guard? And then I know I asked you last game about how you thought Reggie had played so far in the bubble. I guess how would you assess Landry in that sense as well? You know, Landry just needs to play more, needs more timing. I mean, we, we can't forget that he missed basically the entire camp uh, due to COVID. And so, you know, and the impact of that. And so we're just trying to get him right. Uh, he's close, I can tell you that. Uh, and he'll play more tonight. All right, thank you, Doc. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Can I go back to your room? Back to your room. <laughs> <laughs> come get me, I'll come. <laughs>